Okay, today we are going to read Reflash and program a key to an NEC Volkswagen cluster. We have the Volkswagen cluster, all NEC dashes will have one plug on the back. This one is my test dash and it's been taken apart a few times. There are four screws here, 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 here. You undo those and you can, on the sides, you'll see the little clips. And once you get the clips off, you will be able to pull the back off. Put that out of the way. Then you are going to have the main guts of the cluster out. There are a couple of tools to pull the needles. Um, they make an actual flat bar that has a slot in it. These have been on and off a few times. So you can just pull them off. This is the one part that actually works out pretty good if you have a small Phillips screwdriver. What you end up doing is putting it in the lug and moving the lug out of the way. And what that means is stick it in the hole, bend this back. So I usually go for pop it. When you're putting it back together, it does actually help out. Once you have the LCD screen flapping in the breeze, make sure you don't rip the cable. Um, it happens a lot. These two pins, you're going to push, and the same thing over here, push these two. And when you get those two pushed in, you pop this off. And the catches are here, 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 here. Okay, now that you've got that apart, the actual chip, the actual chip that we're going after is the 24C64 that is right here. Um, we tried to enter service mode on this dash and we weren't able to. So now we have to read the chip, um, run it through a Britus, and then we will go ahead and get into service mode and program a key. Okay, not sure if everybody can see this. This is what's called ABPROG. Um, this comes with a board that you can solder on the uh, chip onto the board and then put it in here. When you do that, you have to take the chip off of the dash, off of the main board, solder it to a um, daughter board, and then hook it up to this. I have actually made a cable with a clip. that fits into the 24C slot and I just stick it in there. Okay, once we have done that, then you put this on the chip. And if you have a good clip, it will stay. If not, put your finger on it to hold it. And if you notice, pin one on mine is over here. Okay, we have opened up a British Quick Start. We're going to go to the second page. Or we're going to go to Abprog. Okay, now we have Abprog opened up. What we are going to do is go to the 12C EEPROM. Then we are going to change this to the 24C64. And now, remember, we're already hooked up to our cable from the ABPROG over to the chip. So now we're going to read the chip. 
Sometimes you might get an EEPROM read error if you don't have a good connection. Okay, so our EEPROM read finished successfully. If you noticed, I stopped the video and then went ahead and started it again. It's because on this old laptop, when I'm trying to run this many programs, um, it's real slow reading the chip. So we click OK. And now we are going to save this. So OK. So now we're going to save this. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I usually call it whatever the car is, whoever whoever's car it is, um, customer information, something like that. Just remember, this is going to be the first save. So you want to label it as in like 01 or 10 or whatever you want to do. And in the next step, we'll show you why that's important. So we click Save and it will save the file. Okay, so we've saved the file. Now we are going to close Abprog. We are going to go back to the Quick Start and open up Volkswagen. We have the Volkswagen Commander open. We're going to go to Special Functions and on this one, we're going to go to the CAN instrument and open it up. We are going to pick the VDO with NEC 2009 Plus. Then we're going to open it and we are going to load the config data from the dump. And basically what we're going to do is the bin that we saved from reading it, we are going to open up now. So now once it has loaded the program into, or it's loaded the bin file into AVDI Volkswagen, we're going to enter service mode by configuration dump. And what this will do, it will make changes, a couple of changes, into the bin file so that it will open up the security. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this, let's say we wanted to, it was the NEC-10, um, we will call it the NEC dash, um, let's say one, two, or whatever you want to call it. Just make sure it's something different than the original. So we're going to save that. And it tells you, you should write back the modified configuration data to the dashboard, then connect the dashboard to the car and press enter service mode by OBD2. Um, one thing that will show you, there is a quick way to do this on the bench. So now, let's exit out of this. We're going to exit out of the Volkswagen. We're going to go back to the Abprog. Okay, we've gone to 12C EEPROM. We've gone to 24C64. Now what we're going to do is load. We're going to load the bin file that we saved and then modified using using the Volkswagen. Okay, so we have our bin file open. Now we have our clip on our chip. Everything's hooked up. We are going to program the modified dump back into the chip. Okay, now we have our EEPROM write finished successfully. 
So what we just did is we read the chip, we ran the bin file that we saved from the chip through the Abritus for VW software. It changed the security bytes and then we just wrote it back to the chip. Now we're going to change lanes and we are going to log into the cluster and program a key. Okay, now we're getting ready to program the key into the dash. Now, one way to do this is to take the dash, the cluster, put it all back together, bring it out to the car, put the key in the ignition, turn it to the on position, but don't start it. Hook up the AVDI in the car, have your key with a chip, and then program it in. Another way to do this is to use the British USA NEC cluster cable. This comes with a power supply, 2 amp, and the nice little cluster with a switch and an output. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this, hook it to the back of the cluster, clip it down, put the cluster on the bench, hook up our power, then we're going to take our AVDI, we're going to hook this up to the end of the cable, we're also going to hook up our tag key tool, now we are ready to program a key into this. Okay, so now we have reflashed the chip in the NEC cluster, the 24C64. We have done that by using ABPROG and our clip. So now we're going to open up Volkswagen. We're going to go to the CAN instrument. We are going to move this over so it's easier to see. We are going to turn on power to the dash using our NEC dash cluster cord. Now we are going to, after it get do, gets done making all kinds of noise, we are going to open up the CAN instrument. So now we will enter service mode by OBD2. So now we're in service mode. First thing you want to do is read the EMO data. And if you notice, we have our VIN number, we have our serial keys, the MAC configuration, we even have our PIN code. And if you notice, there are two keys programmed into this. So what we are going to do is program another key into this using the programmer. So I just have a Megamos 48 chip. It does not have to be a CAN chip. It can be just a regular chip. I'm going to put it in the ring, and then I am going to add a key. It will look for the programmer. Please insert a new key transponder into the key programmer. Um, after this operation, the transponder will be locked and cannot be used on any other cars. Do you want to continue? Yes. We're going to put it in position 3, which is open. And what it does is reads the data. OK. And if you notice, now key ID has the new key built into it. After you do this, it's always a good idea to update the emo data. And basically what it does is it goes in there, makes sure everything's fine. Now, for us to be able to use this key, Basically, all we have to do is leave service mode by OBD2, and it'll tell you that if you do that, you might have to go through the process to 
reflash the chip. We click yes. You'll notice that the cluster resets itself. Now all you have to do is put this chip into a key cut for the car, put the cluster back together, get in the car, and it will start. No more fooling around.